All right, the dumb off is uh, about to begin. Is Francine here? As soon as Francine gets here, uh, Francine is here. Okay. Oh, get, okay, good. I think we're going to start the dumb off next on the Opie and Anthony show. And Tim put this fine little piece of production together. Well, it's a quickie. It's the first annual dumb off. Absolute stupidity appears absolutely <laughs> stupid. On the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> I thought it'd be a little more involved than a little more than that. It started out good. <laughs> it really right. did. It sounded like a monster truck ad. <laughs> then, I got excited. And then fizzled to, to the Philadelphia Spectrum this Sunday. Hey, here's another sweeper for the dumb off. Yes. First annual dumb off. This is Rich's day. We just needed other people around whoa, 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 to whoa. make it better. On the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> <laughs> And I embrace my dumbness. You think you're smart, and you're not. Last you're week. stupid. Last that makes you dumber than me. <laughs> On the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> See, there you go. That's good. All right, oh. we're going to get the dumb off uh, started after the break. <laughs> Opie and Anthony, on your radio dial. Getting ready for the uh, dumb off. A couple other things really fast. I now have to vote for... Uh, Barack Obama for president. Why now? You boy, are you a waffler? Because he's admitting that he tried drugs as a teen. That's why I'm not voting for him. Well, reason number eight hundred and twelve. Was he forced to admit this? Because I, I heard like Hillary had some dirt on him. Was this the dirt that Hillary had on him? Really? And so he decided to beat her uh, that's to the just, punch. That's just dirt, huh? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Oh. <laughs> I was only joking. I was only joking. I understand. Very good. No, because there was a rumor that Hillary had dirt on uh, Barack Obama. Now I'm thinking Barack said, oh, hell, I'll just beat her to the punch and admit it. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but it sounded like he was just kind of talking to some some youngsters yeah. and decided to uh, uh, break that out as kind of a, hey, you know, I was kind of on the bad road and look where I am now. I think it's okay to admit that you did drugs now if you're running for president. There was a time where you just uh, kept that all a secret, but now it's like, ah, yeah, of course I did. That was a huge thing with Clinton. Sure. That was a big issue if, uh, if he smoked pot and then he said he did, but he didn't inhale and that was a joke. Uh, and now you could just say, ah. Uh, it doesn't matter. What kind of drugs, though? Was it just pot? I think the horse. What? I think he may have been uh, doing the horse. What, what, what? No, I have no idea, to tell you the truth. The goofballs? Uh, maybe some goofballs. Barack was he Obama taking the, was goofballs? On the goofballs? <laughs> uppers? Maybe some uppers, downers. Maybe some black beauties? I heard. Now, this might be rumor, but oh. I heard he smoked some pot. Oh, crackly Mike. What? <laughs> crackling Mike could wreck the whole day. Oh is no, it? crackling mic. Did I fix it? I think it was. It's this little. Oh, action. Tim, bad cord. It's a bad cord. Yeah, what the hell? That cord looks like. Yeah, uh, looks like looks a little old. Yeah, was this on a, a submarine? Submarine. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's funny. It just is. It is. All right, Anthony. Like it would have had to have been salvaged. Uh, <laughs> try to figure out the crackling mics as we continue. Look, we're professionals here. What you yeah. were saying, goofballs. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I heard uh, tell, this might just be rumor, but uh, that once he smoked a, a joint. Yeah. And uh, he was babysitting for baby. <laughs> and the mother had said, make sure you put the turkey in the uh, oven. <laughs> And put my baby to bed. Yeah. And uh, Barack, apparently, this is what I hear, could be rumor, I don't know, um, was so stoned that uh, uh, he may have mixed things up because when the mother got home, she went up into her uh, to see her baby. Yeah. And um, she smelled like something cooking, but she went up to see the baby, looked in the crib, and, and pulled down the blanket and saw a turkey oh, in bed. Oh, that's so you know what got put in the oven. Yeah. So that, I think, made Barack come out and say that maybe he was stoned. Oh, boy. And you got yeah. Francine laughing like a little Of course. Girl. Never heard that one before, huh? Well, he's getting a balloon. That's what pot does to you Francine, if you're on the pot. You never heard that one before? That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That would be hysterical. You would have done that with your baby if you didn't abort it spontaneously <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. Francine, that was hilarious when I heard it for the first time in fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's the first time you heard that? Oh, yeah, someone's wow. commenting uh, on Pal Talk that I love that Dragnet episode. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one. Sure, maybe um, Barack... every time you smoke a joint, a baby dies. Maybe Barack was seeing some white rabbits, huh? Yeah, 
Uh oh, there's the baby on TV. Oh, look at that. They're showing how to cook a baby. All the news. This time of year, they love showing how to cook a baby. You know, you as long as you baste them, they're nice and tender. Yeah. And the skin. Let's all the have, skin is the unhealthy part, but it tastes so good and crispy. Let's all uh, have let's all have fun with Google today. I, I need a group effort here. Yeah, group effort. Everybody right now who's listening needs to just Google "baby in the microwave," <laughs> <laughs> or you want to go "baby in the oven." Which one's easier? "Baby in the oven," right? "Baby in the oven." All right, "baby in the oven." And need a group uh, effort from all the pests right now. Everybody on Pal Talk, everybody on Instant Feedback, everybody listening right now. Even use your little baby. Your little mobile device, right. baby in the oven. Baby in the oven. Let's uh, let's have fun with that with Google today. Let's make that number one. Baby in the oven. Did uh, does George Bush do that on uh, Thanksgiving Day when he pardons the baby? <laughs> he pardons <laughs> him and sends him to Guano Bay. What? <laughs> oh, can we no, just go no. home? No, he didn't say <laughs> that. Anthony, Opie, Anthony, <laughs> why, just, I want to go home. Just, you I know, don't need to be here. Tear up the questions. Everyone leave. Just have. Uh, you, you, there's no over. way. This guy is Guantamo a grand Bay? champion dummy. <laughs> Guantanamo Bay. But Francine's in there like, what's the problem with that? Right, Francine? <laughs> Guantanamo Bay. Do you know what it's called? I think it's Guantanamo. Guantanamo. Oh, Guan that's like that. pretty good. Because okay. there's a song about it. Is there? What's the song? No, that's How do you the, sing that? I think that, it's that, Guantanamera. No. The, oh, you are more. Oh, my God. This is the best <laughs> panel of dummies ever. Are you ever. Talking about the, what are you talking about? Can I go home? Mont <laughs> what song are you talking about? She just said Guantanamo like she's Spanish trying to speak English. Guantanamo. I took Spanish for six years for the record. Really? What record? <laughs> that was second grade. <laughs> for the record. <laughs> right. What uh, grade, what sir. what song were you talking about though? Guantanamo Bay. I think it's Guantanamera. What? There's a song called Is there? Okay, there could be. I I'm not gonna judge. All right. What do I know? I, yeah. I think Voss is far more stupid than what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what he said now. It was so off. <laughs> Number one search today is baby in the oven. All right, uh, hey. we're here. We have our contestants for our first annual can I just, dumb off. Can yes. I, can I just say something before you get started? Yeah. I think we like like a, a, a game show. You should, we should, one of you guys should do a little back history of our dumbness. Yeah. Well, uh, think, that's like, kind of what I was getting to. I was saying our first annual dumb off. I was gonna introduce you know, introduce and meet some of the. No, uh, I mean like like our schooling, what we've accomplished, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Can you let him go with mm -hmm. the flow? It's his show. Stupid. All right. Okay. <laughs> Well, you can go that route too. We yeah. should have had. I could just. Uh, we should have had dumb moments on the Opie and Anthony show from these guys. If yeah, we don't have that really much really dumb all, moments. That's all I'm saying. Uh, although I'm sure we'll get brand new ones. All right, Bob. Uh, did you graduate we already high school? Have. Bob I, Kelly. I actually I graduated high school, but for three years I was in the uh, the rubber rooms, which was basically like the one class all day weight room snakes. You played kickball for five hours. You know. I was I was in that same school. It was called uh, Sarah, uh, middle uh, not middle school, con school, continuation school. Yeah. I was kicked out of Dana Hills High School in California uh, because I was constantly absent and and late. And um, they put me in this thing where you did dittos, like you got a ditto, and it was the easiest like retard yeah. work. And yeah. then you kind of hung out, and 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 the teacher would be like, "Who wants to go surfing?" Yeah. And like some of the kids would just go surfing with the teacher. I, or, I actually had they give that. you one paragraph, four mm -hmm. questions in that one paragraph. Yeah, yeah. Was, which is basically like a, a, like a line, a, a, a question, and then yeah. uh, I would go work at a styrofoam factory with, and a retard was my boss. <laughs> Oh that makes styrofoam well, we have balls. This parallel thing because I went there uh, to that school and then worked at a place that made Hobie catamarans. <laughs> so I had to take styrofoam and then cover it with uh, fiberglass. Yeah. Great, great job. I no masks, the, no nothing. Yeah, I think I have black lung disease. <laughs> <laughs> I used to make the uh, balls for Christmas ornaments. Christmas <laughs> ornaments. Yeah, me and this ball. retard guy. We'd sit there all day just oh, rounding rich balls. Rich boss. <laughs> <laughs> this was your schooling? Yeah, well, I only went Party to you did yeah. well. I only went to two classes, <laughs> yeah. and then I go work that. I worked my way back into regular class, graduated. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, from sixth grade to I think tenth grade, I was I was in juvie. I didn't do any any school. Mm. See, I didn't go the trouble route. 
I just went the I don't want to go to school room. You then turned that free time uh, that could be spent smoking pot and watching cartoons with your friends, which is what I did, right. uh, into getting into trouble. I did do that. It's just my friend lit me on fire while we were watching cartoons. See, it's not a good friend. Uh, Rich, uh, Rich Ross, Ross has his hand up. I you can barely you see. <laughs> I thought someone threw a doll arm up on the uh, up on the table. <laughs> I don't like you as the host leaning towards one of the contestants and bonding like this. I find, oh, sorry. I find it quite illegal. Well, uh, what's, it's, what's it's your, your turn. Scrolling? I'll lean towards no, you. No, I'm not done. I'm not. He, if he's done, let's. I think uh, he was I, done. We I, got okay. his good background on uh, what yeah. a, a scum he was when yeah. he was growing up. Yeah. Uh, your schooling, uh, Rich. Rich, what'd you do? High school, college, before Harvard, or what happened? <laughs> yeah. uh, Here's the thing. I, I quit school, but you like grow, in, school, you, in school, school. Wait, what do you mean you quit school? They knew I was trouble. So first in like 10th grade or 9th grade, they sent me to a special trailer to learn how to repair lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> they Yeah, it was like a special, only special, you know. Working over to Bill Cockney's outfit. So fixing they, lawn, <laughs> lawnmowers right. and whatnot. So it was like some program for the trouble How long ago was, was this? Did you have like a chalkboard <laughs> and like a, a, a like a... A bucket that you kept your lunch in? You can say he was Little House on the Prairie times. <laughs> then after, I think he was uh, calling you old. After I quit the, uh, after I quit the trailer and lawnmower repair, yeah. then I went back to the school. And this was young. And they put me in a special, you know, where trouble kids in the, cl in the school. And, like, we would sing class and, you know, they, they'd have us wrestle and fight. And that was class. <laughs> right. Yeah, they bet like, on it. Yeah, like I had to wrestle, like, the toughest guy, Jack Hill, in, in class. Mm -hmm. And then... I, I went What's, to high school. Was a short bus involved? Sounds no, like a, I went to high school, but I never like went. Sounds like a Jean Claude Van Damme film. <laughs> I never, uh, I never went to school. I just this went there to sell pot. Beat him. Yeah. So I guess I had enough credits to get through the tenth grade. You know, you have credits to graduate a certain through amount of credits. Through the tenth grade. And I was going to, and all my friends, and then I went and showed up at eleventh and twelfth grade, but I didn't graduate. I just went there mm -hmm. to sell pot and went to woodshop class. Yeah. And uh, I was going to go back, and then I woke up and said, nah, I'm not going back. So I have basically enough credits. If I went back, I would have to do 11th and 12th grade. You have a 10th grade education. Officially, you, officially, you tenth made, grade education. Maybe nine and a half. Okay, he barely <laughs> made it through. Let's get to Francine. And Francine, of course, the smart the one Francine. out of the bunch. She actually went to college. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Francine, uh, you didn't have a college fund. I'm not. I know. went to college yeah. too. I, I'm two classes away, math and English, from an associate's degree. It doesn't in count. fine arts. Yeah, I was, what what it was college? Art. I drew. It was community college in Boston, Bunker Hill, and I just drew. What was the name of the college? Uh, Bunker Hill. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Bunker Hill Community bad. College. Didn't you wear bad. fatigues to also, the college? Yeah, really. Also known that? as the 13th grade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Uh, now, Francine, um, your high school uh, was uh, in what part of Connecticut? No, I went to school in Maryland. Oh, in Maryland. And I oh. had some private schooling. Private schooling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And why was that? The courts made her. Why? Well, actually, um, I wasn't smart enough to get in, but my brother was, so they let me in, too. <laughs> On your brother's coattails. That's nice. Basically, they couldn't deny that ass of yours. I guess yeah, so. That's probably it. Isn't there, like, like, like listening to her speak and listening to him speak, aren't there different kinds of dumbness? <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, weird. There are. Yeah, th I mean, her dumbness, I don't know if she's dumb. I think she knows how to spell and do math, but her... There's some when she speaks, I I want to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> but how dumb do you have to be to ha to let your friend light you on fire? I mean, you can't be too smart. No, I was really stoned. We smoked like a pound of weed. I, I I got high for many years of my life. I never let anybody light me on fire. No, yeah, but like, you did wear short shorts you just to get more drugs. <laughs> Let's not forget. Yeah. I'd rather be uh, lit on fire myself than wear <laughs> what tiny little jean shorts to get more they were more jeans. drugs. They were bas they were little white basketball see through. Well, whatever. Jesus, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Forget You've about. never heard this story? No. Oh, what are you God, talking? He used to tragic. dress sexy uh, for his oh, drug dealer to get more gay. drugs. He was oh. gay, and he would. He was hoping that the drug dealer would invite him upstairs, oh. and then when he wasn't invited upstairs, sometimes he felt he felt uh, rejected. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coke makes you do weird stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, talk fast. It doesn't make you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no drug that just makes you gay. I didn't say I was he would, gay. Bob, uh, he would get jealous. He would be there with one of his friends, and his friend Kevin. would be Kevin. He was Ke good looking. Kevin would be invited upstairs, and Rich would have to wait downstairs, and he would be bummed out that the 
the drug deal to invite him upstairs at times. What was Kevin wearing? A bikini? Kevin was so good looking, he didn't have to wear it. He could wear long jeans and work boots. He was just a good looking man. I would, I would just pay to see you impatiently waiting in the lobby. You could see, I, I was in, in the house, but the Fishing shorts, you, you could see, you Daisy Duke. You could see like a, a part of a, <laughs> I mean, they were so, like the sack would hang out a little. I, what, Jesus. What am I doing here? <laughs> I I, I just, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Right. I can't spell. I suck. Can I go home? Well, Wait, that doesn't make you dumb because you can't spell. You're a lot dumber than when it comes to spelling. Listen. It's a lot more okay. than spelling. Listen, we'll find out. We have to uh, take our first break, but we got to at least start the, uh, the dumb off. You guys yeah. got... You guys got paper in front of you and a Sharpie. And no cheating, please. Now, uh, who is going to be the official timekeeper? And how much time are they going to have for each question? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. That's Why not that long to open the pen? Listen. Ten seconds. Ten seconds is good. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you ten seconds. We'll give you enough time to write down an answer. Ten seconds from the time the question is uh, uh, read. And then I will go. I will go that, and you then will uh, begin. All I right. think you guys are just in a rush now because of break, and you're saying 10 seconds. That's cool. It's well, a, it is look, a dumb off. I mean, you, know, you guys are treating look, like a look, real look, show. No problem. What do you we'll, want? We'll allow them to answer their dumb question, all right? Okay, but if, 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 if you go too long, we've got to take you out of the game. Yeah, we can figure it out. Can't we just, like, figure it out as we go along? All right, whatever. All right, here we go. Right, you want the first question? You just want to hit the bell. Is that your right intro? Now. You never did your intro. That was the intro. We introduced you. All right, I can play this again. But we can see each other's it's, answers. No. So oh, cheat. my goodness. Oh, don't cheat. All right, go ahead. Wait, it's the <laughs> first cheat. I was in juvie hall in sixth grade. Don't cheat. <laughs> Look at you. You're all like, go ahead, right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, listen, we got official production. For by, the, by the way, by the way, uh, quickly, uh, Patrick sent me a text. Yeah. And he said he had uh, texted Bobby mm -hmm. uh, and wished him good luck. Mm -hmm. Aww. And Bobby uh, wrote him back and said, I'm going to lose. I know I'm going to lose. L O O S E, <laughs> no crap. L O O S E. No, I listen to me. You know I, you're gonna lose. I can't spell. Obviously, I can't. And Patrick me felt he'd share that with me everybody. Writing an email is honey, honey, honey. How do you? I don't know how to spell restaurant. <laughs> you can spell that's a hard card, one. can't you? That's oh, oh, oh damn. Here's the official production for the uh, dumb off. It's the first annual dumb off. This is Rich's day. We just needed other people around oh, whoa, 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 to whoa. make it better. On the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> All right, here is your first question. Anthony. Here it is. Which is the closest planet to the sun? Oh, by the the way, closest planet to the sun. These are the easy questions. Yeah. We got easy, medium, and hard. Uh, they are writing. They're writing down their answers. You can write um, nice and big, by the way. We got plenty not of paper. To, try not to uh, cheat. Uh, uh, well, uh, Bobby's done. Uh, Rich just looks perplexed. And uh, Francine has written down something, but it took her a little long. Um, right, did you write anything, Rich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Quickly. Let's start with Francine. Start with Francine. Uh, which is the closest planet to the sun, Francine? You wrote... The wrong paper, dummy. <laughs> oh, my God. She wrote Uranus. <laughs> or Uranus, as people who don't want to be embarrassed say it. Uh, but, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Who's keeping track? That is incorrect. All right. Uh, now, Rich Voss, he wrote Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter would be the closest uh, planet to the sun. And that, of course, is wrong. I saved paper. You certainly did. You wrote it very small. And now, uh, Bobby Kelly wrote... Earth, <laughs> our own planet Earth being closest to the sun. Holy mother of God. It's a trifecta of idiots. Who is it? Who, who is what it? Is it's it? a planet. Is it's a what is it? Moon? Is the sun considered? The moon isn't a planet. I, I shouldn't be getting d dumb answers hey. still thrown at me. Yes, you should. Do you want this to be funny or oh, not? Oh, is this a dumb off? Let us is talk. the sun considered a planet? No, it's the sun. All right. That's so. the main thing. <laughs> that's the main thing. And what do you mean that's the that's main That's the thing? center of the thing oh. that we float oh, around. And, and, and the moon is the semi-main thing. 
No, the moon is a oh, fucking no. Oh, <laughs> dropping the F bomb. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 Tom. Getting, it's getting flustered. Sorry, oh, are they dummies? <laughs> this is fantastic. Well, well the, the, this is. This, uh, can I just say something? Yes, yes. This is information. I, I understand. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Wait a second. Let me finish. Oh my God! This is information that does you nothing. <laughs> Not only did he get it wrong, when he gonna, spelled it wrong. When are you going to ask? When are you going to really? Uh, what do you want me to uh, to ask you how to balance? It's a checkbook. Look at no, something I, that's going to get you. First question, <laughs> and he's already flustered. I'm with, yeah. I'm with Bob. This is useless information. This is useless. not useless if you're going to try Francine. to pick up a girl with astrology. Francine, why uh, you're in it? Astrology? <laughs> why? Is, oh my god! I don't remember a lot of the planets. No. So that was so that was one, one that remembered. popped in your head. That and Venus. Yeah. I think it's green. What, Venus? Yeah. Or Uranus? <laughs> yeah. I had a really hot earth science teacher. All right. She's so you didn't pay uh, much attention? No. Okay. All right. Well, I, well I, the answer is Mercury. For all the people Mercury. out there that said Why Mercury, didn't you congratulations. Why did question the bottom of a thermometer, and then we might have got that <laughs> right? <laughs> or maybe through a hint. But who asked that? There's no hints. <laughs> who knows that? Everybody in the you fifth grade. Said, I you do know. Said, you should have said, name four planets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, five planets. That would have been hard, a good, hard question. Name five planets. Uh, we Myself. Got, uh, all right, hold on. We got to take a break, but Nate in Brooklyn wants in. <laughs> that was a good <laughs> that one. Was good, that Rich, was a good yeah. one. <laughs> that was a good Kelly one. A planet joke. Let's go to Nate in Brooklyn. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey. You got to do like the SATs. Let them write their name down for a couple points, because that's the only way there'll be any points scored this time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we'll go to Joe in Staten Island. Joe. No, this, this can't be possible. This is making me angry. It's preposterous. <laughs> they can't possibly be this dumb. Joe, he's, Joe, he's getting you know, angry at did, how stupid did you, know, you are. Did you, did Joe, you, did know, you know Mercury? Did you did, know, Joe? Did I know? No. I exactly. <laughs> All, right. All, right, so, so, you, All right, listen, we got to take a break. Wait, hold on. What's the closest planet no, to gone. the Comedy Cove at Scotty's oh, in Springfield? Oh, boy. Red <laughs> I, I haven't Very given good. one plug. Are you somewhere this weekend? No, but I'm going to be at the comedy, uh, the comedy connection in Boston uh, in January. I have a show too. January. Oh, January. yeah, I want to fill that. Game. All right, listen, they're babbling. Listen, we got to we got to uh, get control back here. It's uh, the okay. first annual dumb off. We got to take a break. And why don't you give the second question as we go in a break? Give them a little extra time. To All right, answer. extra time. Uh, what is the capital oh. of Italy? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, just write it down. We'll just give you the down. answer No back. cheating, no looking. The capital of Italy we are looking for. The dumb off has begun on the Opie and Anthony show. Okay. I already wrote my answer. Said Tata. Wow. Whip them out Wednesday. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. what everyone else is talking about. <laughs> O&A, uncut and live, continuing the show on XM Satellite Radio. Starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, visit xmradio.com to subscribe. <laughs> this is the Opie and Anthony show. Wow, they're just babbling over it, there. It's hysterical it's, to listen to. It's the first annual or the first, let's just call it the first dumb off on the Opie and Anthony show. Fifth grade questions, that's what these guys are attempting to answer. Fifth grade in what neighborhood? Yeah. Like a, a Long Island white neighborhood or inner city, you know. It runs the gamut. Really? And what were you guys talking about with Francine? I just think she should take that raggedy Ann hair out of her head <laughs> and go with an afro. Oh, yeah. my God. I think an afro on a black woman is the sexiest thing ever. She could look like Joanne Chesmart. Do you know how hard it is to take care of an afro, first of all? You look like a scarecrow. Just take it out. You probably have beautiful <gasps> afro. I love like that commercial where the white kid filled the little afro, the black kid's afro. There's nothing. What the hell are you talking about? There's nothing it's that is really sexier than a black chick with an afro. You watch commercial. You don't have TiVo. Well, can you move your dumb head so I can look at her? <laughs> <laughs> this is what's been going on the entire time. All right, we've been Bobby sitting had here. the funniest line on the planet. Well, well, I don't want to repeat it. Just go ahead. Go ahead. They say what. Her, oh, part yeah. of her body smells like. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I don't think you can say that. They were discussing yeah. this. The smell of a well, I asked her part of. I uh, asked her what her ass smelled like. Like well, what? what her bum. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, you can't say that. Forget, no, forget, forget it. Forget it. Now it's too late. It's the first annual dumb off. <laughs> and I embrace my dumbness. You think you're smart, and you're not. Where's you're the... stupid. <laughs> that makes you dumber than me. On the Open Anthony Show. You sounded like 2007 Seinfeld. You. Say you're smart. You know what I mean? Don't, <laughs> don't try to suck me into your bad joke. What are, what are, I've had some good ones here. A couple crashes. What are we, a comedy, a comedy team now? You know yeah. what I mean? It's your turn, Bob. Stiller wow. and bigger. Oh, who's on first? <laughs> <laughs>
good. That was pretty good, Bob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta I, get one I don't deny that he has good Hey, kidneys. you know what? He gets a plug for that. Rich Boss at uh, <laughs> what crap hole you at this weekend? The Comedy Cove. No, I hear there's they got a Scotty's in, club. in Springfield. All right. New so, Jersey. Friday and Saturday. There you go. Hey, and you can go to Rich Boss. And Bonnie's working with me this weekend. And the baby will be backstage, unattended. That's terrific. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we go on together. <laughs> you should. We're the cover bones. Well. Right. You should take the baby out, too. Hey, speaking of baby, uh, we're, we're attempting to make baby in the oven. Uh, number one on uh, Google today as far as uh, searches. <laughs> baby in the oven. Baby in the oven. We need everybody to Google that right now. Everyone on Pal Talk, uh, Google it again. Just keep Googling it. We want baby in the oven as the number one search today. All oh, right. Jeez. Sorry. Very distracted. Yeah. There seems to be a naked uh, uh, woman on um, Pal Talk doing one of the most unsexiest dances I've ever seen in my life. What is she doing? I don't know. I think she's trying to dry a certain area because she just got out of the shower. And then she... D look at this stupid <laughs> dance. I, 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 it's a uh, fa fast... Phastum 3, P-H-A-S-T-M 3. She's doing like this thing. She might just be trying to dry a certain air. Do the dance again because uh, Obi didn't see it. Oh. <laughs> no, look, look, here it is. Look. <laughs> what is that? She's, just, called she's doing like the, the, the funky chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing the completely naked chicken dance. <laughs> she's just trying to get all her areas dried. Okay. Dumb off. We gave you guys a question before the break. It was, what is the capital capital of Italy? Of Italy. Yeah. Let's start with Bob Kelly this time. Bobby. Uh, I wrote down. Let me get speak on mic here. Mm -hmm. uh, Rome. Rome is correct. Very good. That is the correct Don't look answer. At me shocked now, me. a shocked Rich <laughs> Voss just looked over at Bobby like it can't be Rome. Uh, Rich, uh, Rich, what is your answer? The capital. Well, I first wrote Venice and crossed it off. Then I wrote Florence and crossed it off. And then I wrote Naples. <laughs> you? Can I stop? Can we stop right here? Can we stop right here? I want to. I want to protest and I want to fill a, 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 a complaint, a formal complaint I want to, to the. Lord of this dumb off. <laughs> this man cheated. We were in the other room. We both wrote we wrote down our, our, our answer before we left. I had mine written down. You can see there's one thing written on here. Yes. One. Rome. Okay? We went outside. Someone actually we already had a, someone actually said it out loud. Okay? And I was like, shut up. Don't say it. And I go, I go, Voss, show me yours. I'll show you mine. So we know that we didn't cheat. He pulled his out and he had what, I don't even know, you know what wrote. the problem with him. He wrote flow. Oh, fl <laughs> flow. He wrote Florence. I go, yours is Florence. Keep. You cannot change your well, mind. Let me that's tell you it. What his problem is. I showed him mine was Rome. One thing. Look at, that's and it's cheater. not even written no, there. Listen, here's the thing with Bobby. He got it right. He's a sore winner. Okay, his acting classes are working out because that never happened. Right now, he goes, I'm going to show you get how Mike good I Get Mike Stefano in here. Who's, uh, who's the dummy that actually said it out there? Mike Stefano. Why would he say? Why would he say the answer? No, because we asked. This, it wasn't his fault. I, it, it came. I asked the question, and he went, "Hey!" And he went, "Oh!" He just answered. He kind of just. I, I went, you know, right. he asked the question. It wasn't his fault. All it wasn't right. his fault. Enough of your goddamn. Mike, what what are you doing? You're wrecking our whole bit. You're wrecking our whole bit. You're giving uh, you're giving the answers yeah, out. It wasn't his fault. Okay, no. let's say. And by, even with cheating, dummy came up with three wrong answers. I, Rich, you know, I was if I got it right, I wasn't going to take it because that was oh, a joke. Okay. That was a bit. I wouldn't take it. I'm not. I'm honest. Wait, wait, wait. Get, get on, Mike. We can't hear you, Mike. It's his first time doing radio. Mike, sit down over there. There you go. Yeah, I, I told Mike Stefano. Right, playing yeah, Caroline's this weekend. Well, yeah, I'm at Caroline's tomorrow. I, uh, I I saw you as part of Dennis Leary and Friends for the first time. I thought you were hilarious. Thanks, so man. Appreciate. I it. definitely wanted to get you in here and uh, plug the Caroline's gig. So what happened with the dumb off? You well, messed up the whole thing. No, no, for I us. didn't know it was a contest. I was in the room and I just heard Bobby say, the, "What's the capital of Italy?" And I said, "Rome." And then he said, "Shut up, don't say anything." And then. I said, no, it's Naples. <laughs> oh, you did say <laughs> Rome. Well, wrote down Naples. Oh, oh, so that's, cheater. oh, that's why he cheated. <laughs> this is now why he says. cheated. Because he wrote Florence he, originally went, oh, my God, that's the wrong no. answer. Mike said Naples, so he goes, oh, Mike has to be right. So he changed his, na uh, changed his answer right. to Naples. Exactly. Yeah. I was only kidding with him. <laughs> you still got <laughs> it wrong. Yet. Okay, so uh, l let's give Bobby a point. Uh, all right. No, and because I, I got it right. You're not giving me anything, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> all right. We're uh, going to give him a point. Let's go to Francine. We've been through one. Question. I know. Francine, We're not even through. Francine, the, the capital of Italy. What did you write down? 
<laughs> what is, what's your answer? Say it out loud. Spain. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to... Can I go? I get it. The capital Can of I Italy. Go? She wrote Spain. <laughs> Bob, Bobby, you can't here. just leave. You can't leave the dumb off. <laughs> All right, Bobby, you're the... Oh, it's... <laughs> Sit down. Spain. It's not even the same language. <laughs> She's fantastic. Well, now I remember. Well, ah. that's, that's wonderful. So the only person that has gotten the uh, question right is Bob Kelly. So far, Bob Kelly has one has answer right. one answer and, right. And we got zero, zero. Okay. Uh, let's go with a very easy one. Why don't, you, why don't you do number three for the guys? Yes, okay. here it is. Uh, President Teddy Roosevelt, you may remember... Teddy Roosevelt, the president. He has a famous saying. It's, uh, was it talk or speak? Yeah, okay. Talk softly. Oh, you can stop right now. You and carry a big blank. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whatever. They're writing their uh, answers down. Oh, boy. Oh, she just looks like she wants to <laughs> jump out the window. Get talk softly or what? Uh, talk softly and, and carry, carry a, a big, big blank. blank was his, his saying. All right. All right. Uh, Everyone got their answers now? Yes. He's, um, you got one in there, Francine? Yeah, good, Francine. Everyone's answers well, are no, in. Rich Voss goes first this time and around. And Buford Pump, uh, Puffers. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> oh, just uh, keep trying. Go ahead. Buford Pusser. <laughs> <laughs> Puffer. Uh, Holy uh, God. I love Rich Voss. He's so stupid. Buford. Buford. Say pumpkin. Pump, no, it's Just Buf say it. You, you know, know what you want to say? Pumpkin. Walking tall. Yes, pumpkin. Yes. Buford. Yeah. Pumpkin? No, yes. it's not pumpkin. Rupert pumpkin. All right. Buford. All right, I, I, got, I got something for Rich. Puffer. <laughs> I like turtles. All right. Very good. All right, Rich, what's your answer? Rich, your answer to us. Stick. Uh, yes. Stick is correct. Uh. But Rich he was Voss around. Stars. That's not fair. He was around. <laughs> wow. She should get a point for that. I don't think she's Even joking. Even if she's wrong, she should, she should get a point for that. I don't think it's a joke, but do you realize that was funny? Not accurate, but very funny. Very funny. Bob Kelly, what's your answer, sir? Stick. He wrote stick. All right. Also correct. And, and Francine, uh, Francine. The only one that isn't on the board yet. Francine, Talk go ahead. softly and carry a big... Uh, I thought of a... What'd you write? I wrote a gun. Oh, wow. Well, really what are the gun. odds? You're a, this is like method questions for her. Are you saying because of her racial background yes. that perhaps gun was just predestined I, to yeah. come out of In her, her neighborhood, that would be correct. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. Would sneak up behind you carefully and carry a big gun. That's Speak that's loudly. Actually, uh, Obama said that. Can we? Uh, all right, let's continue. You want to yes. go with uh, yeah number four? We'll do another easy one. Here it is, number four. Yeah. If uh, it's another planet question, oh, what do you know? it, what? the planets you guys, are very important. You guys want another planet question? Why are the planets important? Tell me that. If you can, because they're around our, our planet and in space. And, and what do they do? Yeah. Gonna, they hold so everything together. And eventually, we're gonna have to move and live on one of these. So are you serious? We're gonna live on Mars, actually. You yeah, know, if it right. wasn't for the rest of the planets, we would be sucked into the sun. Right. So right. count right. your blessings. That's right. Really. Yeah. But the sun. Do oh God. Why would we be sucked into the sun if it was because the gravity the of the, the gravity in. of some of the larger planets, especially like Jupiter and Saturn, actually pull the Earth away from the sun. Hmm. It keeps it in an orbit around the sun around as the sun, the sun tries to. Is pull. That, it's a constant little battle between all the planets. Is that right, documented? <laughs> It's just like me. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. It's what? cold, and there are ugly chicks there. <laughs> uh, my my you, brother goes to school in Maine. Uh, happy you, to hear it. Can I get the goddamn question out? Can I say, do you understand her dumbness is different? I know. Yes, I see. There's, right, many different, there's many different types of dumbness. Oh, God. When you say brother, do you mean relative? <laughs> 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 yes, he would be a relative. Oh, okay. Uh, right, if you go. count Pluto as a planet, how many planets are in our solar system? Oh, everybody knows that. All right. Uh, Bob Kelly just throws down his Sharpie, I guess. I don't like planet questions. <laughs> he doesn't like planet <laughs> no, questions. I know. They never taught me that. Oh, just they never taught you that in reform school? <laughs> reform oh. school. All right, Is he a little rascal? Yeah, right. Let's move it along. Let's go and to Francine, Francine, do you have an answer? Francine, your answer... 
What? What is that? that that's a horrible. That's what nine. It's a nine eleven. That's what her brother's really doing. Nine to eleven. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't a. This isn't a. <laughs> her brother's school is called Attica. <laughs> Uh, uh, you can't say nine can't, to eleven. This wasn't open to like uh, uh, nine to eleven. Nine to I eleven. I want one of them. I really want one. I right. pick one. I pick one. I'm gonna go with nine. Ah, she's going with nine. That is indeed Woo! correct. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, don't go changing anything. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I changed it, but it was wrong. I'll admit it. I don't give a. I don't like planets. Look how freaked out he gets. We didn't ask it yet. I don't like. I don't care. I got it uh, wrong. What's what, the answer? What's the answer, Bob? Uh, not nine. No. What did you write? I wrote uh, seven plus two. Seven, <laughs> seven plus two. Seven, seven, plus seven two. planets. Okay. I don't know. What uh, are planets? We already said we didn't like planets, and you got another planet question right out the gate. <laughs> I uh, didn't write these. Uh, Rich Voss. Me? Yes. He wrote this. <laughs> no, the other I, Rich Voss. I, I, here's my problem. <laughs> I didn't finish making the nine because <laughs> no, I got seven. lazy. Seven. Seven. First no. of all, all right. she wrote she wrote nine and eleven. Yes. That's her answer. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't I just? I could have wrote I could have wrote seven, eight, nine, and then <laughs> no. Then we one. said Look she had to pick one. one. That's a 50 50 That's thing. Bobby's close. They both could have been wrong. Seven, eight, her odds on her could have been, if she wrote seven and eleven. We would have been like, pick one. Yeah, it was it was Didn't a thirty three percent chance. Why are you such a sore loser? All right, the fan, where are we at? Who's uh, leading the dumb off? Bobby. Uh, the correct answer. Bob Kelly has two points. Voss and Francine each have one. All right. Do we have time for another question? Yes. I sure hope so. Which one you want to ask, Ann? We should move along. Move to... I want to answer uh, or ask uh, uh, number Why? six. First all right, of all, six. Bobby, look at all the paper you're wasting. You can do them all on... You all right, don't worry all right, about Al Gore, relax. Paper. Al Gore. <laughs> I'll write it on a polar oh, bear if you don't right. shut up. We're going to go with six. Here we go. Okay. The slaves were freed during which war? During oh, oh, which oh. war? I got it. Keep quiet, everybody. And that that question leans towards you know. You think Francine has a uh, advantage here because she's a, a black woman? No. I said towards Bobby. Because <laughs> <laughs> his parents owned them. No, it wasn't. what? <laughs> just, just write down an answer and shut up. Everybody got their answers. Everyone uh -huh. now has their answers. <laughs> so we'll start with the very <laughs> dejected wait, 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 Bob, Robert well, Kelly. He's two, sweating. Gravy two, is pouring down his face. Oh, look, there's two wars back then. I just was thinking. I was thinking of back. Which one? There was two wars. Back then, two, back, yeah, before World War One and before two, there was the Revolutionary War. There was a Civil War. I mean, there was a couple things going on. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which one did you write? Down as I wrote an answer. Civil. You wrote down the Civil War is the war in which uh, the slaves were freed, and um, that is correct. Yes. Oh. It was indeed the Civil War. Rich Voss, <laughs> now looking dejected. Oh, what uh, Civil War. Oh, and I don't we tried even go to... to acting class. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. And, yeah. and Francine, which war? What is the Civil Revolution? The Civil no, Revolution. No, she's <laughs> cheating. Yeah. Now she gets to pick one. That's a wrong answer, no, my friend. No, I, I believe she thinks that's one war. Th which is wrong. Right? The Civil Revolutionary War? <laughs> that is just... And, wouldn't not... it be the same as the Civil War? Oh, my God. No, the Revolutionary War was uh, yeah, the War the of Revolution. You call your brother for some um, of these answers. When is his England? calling yeah, time? Can she, <laughs> can, she get a, can she get a lifeline to prison? Yeah, I know. <laughs> really, get your He's phone card out. He's in a university, you guys. He's Stop in a it. university? Yeah. Of oh. hard knocks? Is that what they call it? <laughs> no. We're... Well, My mom pays for us to go to school. Oh, okay. All right. Don't well, get in that. Don't no. get all up, uppity. She I'm should sorry. just go get uppity. a new car. You're not going to cry, are you? Yeah. Uh, do you take Spanish and uh, Italian? No, I only took Spanish. Okay. Six oh. years. That works. Six years? Yep. <laughs> all right. Give us something uh, in Spanish. Six years. Go ahead. Um, yo soy... Mui. Oh my God! I <laughs> She's ordering Chinese food. <laughs> she can't even. Ipad. <laughs> que pasa? Que pasa? She can't even fake a, a, a Spanish accent. You know, it usually comes to you after the seventh year of 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 taking the class. Yeah, maybe it was one more year she needed. Uh, hey. Can we squeeze another question yeah, in here? Mui. Here we go. Uh, number number nine is a yeah, good one. Yeah, you gotta do nine. Okay. Uh, here it is, pins. If Thank it, you. If a planet comes out of your mouth, I'm sorry. Well, it's it. not technically a planet. If it has to do with space, Well, okay, now it's now there's, there'll be trouble. But this is something everyone should know. 
Who was the first man to walk on the moon? Oh. The first man to walk on the moon. All right. Uh, again, uh, Francine just looks perplexed and baffled. I'm thinking, and she you guys. Looks like she wants to eat her Sharpie. <laughs> Rich Voss is done. And Bob Kelly is well, looking at. He was 48 Sam's when that happened. For some reason. I wasn't even born. He was having cocktails at a bar watching it live on TV. When were you born? 70. And that was an accident. Right. Yeah, but you should just know this. <laughs> just know it. It's not like something you got to be born to remember. It's Christ. I, I, but I'm getting I'm getting somebody mixed up in my head. I bet you are. <laughs> Did you write it down? Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Ask me the question one more time. Who was the first man to walk on the moon? I got it. All right. All right. He He's thinks he it. has it. Okay. Pins down. Let's go to Francine. We're going to start with Francine. Francine, who... Was the first man to walk on the moon? Oh, no. <laughs> Did you say Superman? Could you please say that into the mic in a loud, clear voice? <laughs> Did she write Superman? No. no. Please say it. Oh my God! Just say it. Oh my God! Please say it. Louis Armstrong. Give me the doop a He played the trumpet on the moon. I'm on the moon, fellas. Oh my God! I'm on the moon. You forgot his last Hello. name. Hello. Dolly. Well, hello. Oops, I fell in a crater. <laughs> Louis Armstrong. Uh, Wait. I see rocks of gray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, you are a gem. You right. are a gem, Let's Louis go. Armstrong. Let's go to um, Rich, Voss. Rich Voss. Rich Voss writes. Uh, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. He was Wait, indeed. Let me yes. tell you something. As I wrote, I mean, I'm done writing it, and then you go to her, and I look at Armstrong, and I go, oh, she got it right, too. And then you went, and went, and you went, oh, no. When you looked, I'm going, I can't you be wrong. You thought you were wrong. Oh, yes. man. Bob and Kelly. Bob Kelly. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he got the other guy, right? <laughs> Neil Armstrong, baby. Oh, oh there he is. He's faking. He was faking, he was more faking that, again. Uh, good acting. A lot there. of good acting. Wait, wait, hold on. Wow. I wrote it quick. It's Neil Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. All right, Francis. I should get partial credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In an insane it's almost, asylum. It's, it's almost like you guys government. I was talking the whole time. I couldn't even think. Really? We were talking? Well. Sorry, but people. But you talk. cannot get government assistance in a in a quiz. <laughs> that is right. fan. And where are we at? I only use two. What's papers. the if, who's winning the dumb off? Bob Kelly has four points. Four Va points, by the way. Four right answers. Okay. Yes, uh, Voss is right behind him with three right answers, and Francine's got one. One. All right. This is really bothering me. Why? Yeah. Why? I guess I don't like I don't like coming from behind. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not a catch up guy. We're going to yeah. head into the medium uh, questions next. Why don't you go for some tough questions? Why don't you let Opie run the show? You, you don't think these are tough up. questions? Okay. What, you, you, All right. You, you got like a 50 on the easy questions. <laughs> yeah, what are you, you rushing in? Dunk. I think we asked uh, six questions, and you got like... Three of them right. All right, I'm and wrong. Should, I stand corrected. These questions should be all in our all of our age bracket. You shouldn't ask something that Voss was there, like you know, when Kennedy got it. shot. Experienced <laughs> things to yeah. all right. Yeah, really. Any kids should know this growing all up. Right. You know, I know, I know about the arc. I wasn't there then. Back to you, Anthony. Yes, as we continue our dumb off. With uh, Robert Kelly, of course, Rich Voss, and the lovely Francine. Can I just say something real quick? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, well, what excludes you two from the dumb off? <laughs> that we're not dumb. Well, <laughs> Opie, Opie should answer a couple questions. Jesus. No. And you're only smart yeah. because of what you do. You work, you come here, you talk, oh. you go home, you I play video I was very games. smart before I got into radio. Wait, there's no reason I would read. We're smart enough not to get involved with the dumb off. See? First of all, you can That's say how you, smart we you are. You can't say okay. you're only smart because of what you do. That's, I, you're smart because you're smart. And I know what Bob. Bob's getting at, and I'll tell you what he's getting at. What? You're right, Bob. I probably would have missed a couple questions there. You but I was smart enough not to get involved with this. <laughs> All right, well, that's then, the difference between me and you. That yeah. makes total sense. You fell for it. <laughs> you're, right, you're absolutely right. And you did suck me into this. I know okay. what you're getting at, and I'm okay. sitting there sweating over a couple of these questions. Yeah, because me and you, I mean, Anthony, okay, I'll give you, I know you're smart. You have some weird intelligence. I don't know what it is. I think <laughs> you're an alien. Norton's smart because he had no social life. <laughs> All right? He, he, when I was hanging out and, you know, having sex with girls and drinking and having fun 
he was reading books and no, fixing his glasses. It seems to me glasses. he was doing a lot of the same. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, but his cost money. He's been a pervert his whole life. And I'll, I'll be fair. I would have probably got the Mercury thing wrong. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you. I right. probably would have got a little confused with that question. But the rest of them are easy. He's strong because he's up by one point. All right, let's yeah, go, man. Next question. Okay. Uh, um, uh, in the name of the agency known as NASA. Hmm. Oh. What does the second A stand for? The second A in NASA. Ooh. Ooh. Francine's got it. Looks Francine's. Like. Someone wrote your dumb on my paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. Someone wrote your dumb <laughs> on her paper. That's, That's it was not probably right. the right side of your brain. <laughs> All right, they're all scribbling away here. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It was really cold. But, um, all right, Rich is done. Francine's done. Bob is still toiling oh, over oh. the question. No, well, Rich was back to writing again. Oh, no, Jeez. never it's, 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 it, Okay, he's folding his paper now. Uh, Francine, it's Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. That was really neat. By the way, she Bobby wrote, is really. By, hold on. By the way, she wrote Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Said Louis, but it, she wrote Louis Armstrong. Oh, Louis. Well, how do you spell Louis? Yeah, Louis spelled with an S. L E Y, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> L E W. There's a few ways. Like Lucky Louis. Something is that. <laughs> Louis, Louis was that. like Louis. I got I got Louis. questions on my uh, mind. Bob uh, Kelly, could you please uh, write an answer? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at this point, we're just looking for something. I don't know. Uh, international errors. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right. You better. Um, you're, Bobby. you're running out of time here. You've, all right. Whatever. He's disqualified for his question. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. What did well, you write, Bobby? Bobby, what did you write? Uh, I the second A in it? NASA stands NASA for airspace. Oh, I didn't even know what the N in the first place. <laughs> of course. For. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> That's what I would have helped it. Space. Uh, oh. I would have to say. Uh, uh, well, what do you, I what can't you write, write association. That's what I was going to put. <sighs> Look, what did you put? Yeah, it's too late. He, lift your hand. Space. Lift uh, your hand. Get get help and lift your hand. You can't say it. You have to. It has to be written down. Yeah. All right. Give me the wrong answer. I'm giving you. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm wronging you. Sorry, yours. we're tough here. Oh. Uh, Rich, uh, Rich. Well, I first put astronauts, but then I put America. <laughs> America. Dude, that's so much dumber than the league. <laughs> I don't know what the, I, I didn't know what the NAS stood for. If I knew, what's the first one? What's National, the National, National, National Air and Space, Space, but I can't no. get the last one. Oh, National oh, uh, Aeronautics. Aeronautics. Space. Space. Uh, 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 agenda. What did you write? Agenda. America. America. I don't know. No, I didn't know I, what the first one was. And <laughs> it's got to be a Francine. Association. Ooh, very good. Oh, it's wow. wrong, but <laughs> it's, it's administration. Oh, oh screw you. Yes. Really, a fifth grader knows that. Uh, yeah, really. Really, a fifth grader knows that. Close. I knew that in the fifth grade. It's because you were made in NASA. the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you attacking him? Uh, because he stinks. Him and his I stupid just, space questions. Yeah. It does nothing for you. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's right. Who's going to walk Man, up we're and meant go, to fly. All right, enough, with the, all right, enough with the space question. Right. Okay. What do we got here? All right. Freaking acronyms. You know what oh, those yeah. are? Ask that question. No, how about... Okay. What are they? How about... You don't know what an acronym is? You want to go with 16, Amp? It's uh, Question 16. <laughs> 16. Mm. How about this? That's a hard one. Uh, I Now, this is one I don't think... I think I'd get right. Okay. Uh, what was New York City known as in the year 1626? Don't fall. face. Look at that. What do you mean? What was it known as? Like for for like travel agents? Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they had travel agents in 18. What'd you say? Travel. Oh agents. God. Di Stefano, kick his ass. Go back. Yes. It went 1626. Yes. Oh, okay, I got it. 1626. All right. Okay, everybody's answers are in. Yes. Uh, let's start with Francine. Pen what did you write? You got to say it into the mic. Pennsylvania. She wrote, wait, can I just stop? Please? Pen can I go home? Can I go home? Pen I want to go home. Yeah. This is making me dumber. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Well, why? Why you Pennsylvania? Know, you know it's great. I got to tell you because yeah. I was I was watching her as she's writing, and she had this toiled look on her face for a second, and then she looked like, oh, oh okay. Yeah, I and wrote it one. down like I got yeah, this like, one. Like a light bulb went off. Why Pennsylvania, yeah. Francine? 
Okay, well, I know that there were like 12 or 13 colonies in the beginning, and mm. Pennsylvania was really big. So I figured it's, it's probably is. Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Rich Voss. Uh, you wrote melting pot. <laughs> <laughs> this is just this oh. is better than I ever could have dreamt that this would go. Oh, it, it's God. just the, the dumb off <laughs> is so much dumber than I even thought it could be. It was you know where everybody came in from everywhere and it was like oh, a melting right pot. the melting pot. Mm -hmm. Oh God! It's the year sixteen. <laughs> 26. By the way, Bob, <laughs> no, it's the melting. Yes. <laughs> to make yourself feel good, I wouldn't have got this right. You would uh, no, I'll acknowledge that. It's That's a little time. rough, this one, Go but uh, what did I you write? I wouldn't have said New Pennsylvania, Amsterdam. though. New Amsterdam. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, it yeah. was indeed known as New Amsterdam. Hey, Amsterdam, uh, the Dutch owned Manhattan, and they, okay. sold it, they sold it for like a buck. Okay. Actually bought it That's for like the a Indian dollar. Indian you know, bought it. Yeah, the way you was Dutch, something I don't know. You didn't say it's what called. was it called. You said what was it known as. Yeah. Like with people. Oh my god. Okay, there's a difference because everybody knew it was New Amsterdam. <laughs> you got it right. All right, let's go. She wrote Pennsylvania. <laughs> I was thinking New Pennsylvania. I think, oh, oh well, okay. all right. All right. Let, let's so. check with the judges. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, let's, she uh, is a moron. <laughs> you want to oh go? Oh my God! You, we could go with seventeen. I would go 19. with seventeen. Yeah. All right, seventeen. Let's go, go with seventeen. Here it is. In the federal agency known as the CIA, what does the I stand for? Oh, I got it. Now, here we go. Write down your answers. No cheating. No looking. No talking. Oh, that's it. Just write it down. The CIA. What does the I stand for? As they're writing, Francine is done. Rich was done very quickly, saying he knew the answer. He's very confident of his answer. And Bob Kelly still writing. Uh, this very reminiscent of the other question with uh, the A in NASA. Uh, all of them have it. And let's start with... Go with Voss. Rich Voss. Intelligence. Intelligence. Indeed, the I who does stand for intelligence. Uh, Francine... What did you write? Say it. Oh. Intelligence. Uh, intelligence. Oh, no. Wow. And Bobby Kelly. I wrote intelligence. Intelligence. Oh, that was we good. have a three-way. That was that easy. Was, yeah. That's all right. A three-way tie for yeah, that yeah. answer. Very good. I just didn't How about... Uh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me see. It says internal. He wrote internal. <laughs> he just cheated. He wrote internal. <laughs> you <laughs> cheater. I caught him cheating. That's... Oh, wait. All right, deduct deduct two points. Wait. Oh, creep. Look at this. Did he really write internal? You cheated. You cheated. <laughs> you know, mine was a joke. Mine was, I showed you, you idiot. Internal. That says internal. Oh, oh my God. Your acting classes are really paying off. No, I And he writes small. How many other ones did I you know. No, no, you can. I got them all right here. You can read them. Mm. I showed him, you loser. Deduct if, I, if I cheated, I would have thrown it out, and I would have just got the point, dummy. You crumbled it up, and I called you on it. And I it. said, do you want to see it? And you go, yeah, and I showed it. If You you know what? I wish they would send you back to reform school. All right. How about 24? Let's go. How about 24 or 19 or... She's seen Boston's insecure face. Central. He actually saw me write the wrong answer. No, I didn't. I swear to God. No, Central internal agency. Yeah, well, I got them mixed. Okay, here it is. That's an, that's an acronym, by the way, dummy. We'll go here with number 26. No, not mixing them up. Oh, God. Here, here, here's, here's, here's the question, contestants. All right. Which pilot was the first to achieve supersonic flight? <sighs> breaking the sound barrier. Which pilot, famous pilot, broke the sound barrier first? Can we get a clue? Yeah, that the was... plane was called the Glamorous Glennis. That's not a clue, unless you ask a question about the plane. <laughs> this is history. People know this. Nobody knows that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Nobody knows Wait, that. How do you measure sound? <laughs> by, by inches. <laughs> She's oh, great. This, oh, is she fantastic? This sounds like the SNL skit. Yeah. This is not. This is real. This, yeah. They wrote that crap for SNL. I just want to swear to everybody, the, the this Jeopardy is not scripted. This, not this scripted. is broke, exactly what is happening. Who broke the barrier? Who broke the sound barrier? I yes. think this is an unfair question. I Why? I think you should give a hint. I don't even I have a clue. No good. Give a hint. 
I do did. Have it? Do you no, have give it? a hint about the guy, not the fuck. Yeah, come on. Give us a letter. <laughs> you won't, you, that was close. Yeah. A letter? You not a letter. First name. <laughs> no. no. I'm not even going to do that. Right. No, write I think it'll do it. You, you write down who the, the, the pilot Hurry is. Hurry up, because we get one more question in before we get out of here. <laughs> This is unfair. Right. I, I have not. Oh, I got it. All right. Voss thinks he has it. Uh, Francine wrote down something, and Bob Kelly again, just staring, his brain baking, <laughs> as uh, he tries to come up with this answer. Uh, I got it. He I set many records. He uh, flew in um, World War II. He is known uh, for um, uh, being one of the only pilots, uh, one of the few pilots uh, in a P-51 Mustang to shoot down a buzz bomb a, uh, and, and an ME-262, a German jet oh, how many, you plane know what? with his you propeller plane. You just gave him a thousand more clues. All right, well, I'm <laughs> telling you about the, the man and <clears throat> what he did. Why don't you just give us his address? <laughs> All right. Rich Voss, what did you write? Do you have to spell it? I mean, do I have to spell it? No, no. Well, I'll know what it is if, if you... Rich, uh, go ahead. Rich... A very proud man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just wrote, a very proud man. <laughs> very good. Uh, oh, is that great? Who do you want next? Bob Kelly. Bob? <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I don't know how to pronounce his, his, his buzz. Armstrong? No. Buzz. Uh, buzz. Buzz. Aldrin. Buzz. Buzz Aldrin. All right. Buzz Aldrin. Nice. Who was that? Buzz Aldrin was the second man the second to walk man on the moon. moon. Okay, so I was in the right <laughs> area. No, second man to walk on the moon. Right. Prince second Saint man to walk on the moon. And uh, the pilot. Al, what? What did you write? Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, my God. I was the closest. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. How were you the closest? You didn't even write a name I was down. the closest because I was in the same... They, it was he helped His them. name sounds like... His last name sounds like a licorice alcoholic beverage that you usually do shots of. Jack Daniels. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zambuca. <laughs> Frank, Frank, Sambuca. Frank that's who it was. An Italian gentleman. <laughs> Sammy Buca. Buca. Oh, my God. He said, hey, I broke the sound barrier. Oh, Zambuca. Hey. Hey. Mike Di Stefano. I can't hey. watch tomorrow night. Hey, come on, Sunday. Now his name was Chuck Yeager. Yeager. Oh, See, yeah. now you hear it and you go, "Oh, I know that." I, I, never I was, knew that. I was in the right ballpark, though. <laughs> no, you well, were. No, I seriously. Was in the right one Chuck too. Yeager set it up. Set Yeager. Up the, Yeager. Yeager. Sammy Yeager. <laughs> Chuck Yeager actually did all those things for. Uh, for NASA to to go up to space. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it to space. He had to break the sound barrier so they could make the rocket and know that it was safe to go up. Shut up. Here we go. <laughs> right. We're running out of show, but maybe we could squeeze one more in here. It's the dumb off oh with Rich God. Voss, Bob Kelly, and Francie. I love it. Which one you want to do? Uh, I think 28 is very good. If it has anything uh, to do with space or no, speed no space. or planets. I'm no. Right. No, no more sound questions. Hold on. Sound. Let's pick the best one that's sound. left. What about... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nothing to do with sound. What about uh, 19? It? 19. Let's look at 19. Oh, boy. Bobby ain't going to like that one. No. If you say space, I'm going <laughs> to hate it. <laughs> that's not even it. All right. Or how <clears> about... Uh, I think that could get the most interesting answer. Okay, let's try that one. Say so. All right, this is the last question in the dumb off. All right. We're ending with an easy one, by the way, fellas. In oh, which... And you. Gal. Uh, if you say galaxy, go ahead, say galaxy. In which galaxy... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is our sun located in? What, what oh. galaxy is our sun located in? There you go. Right. Write it down. The pens I, are I, moving. There's no way I'm going to get that. And, but, and but Bob we're, Kelly but we're just ending with kind an of, easy question yeah. so we could all come together. Well, uh, apparently Bobby Kelly doesn't think it's very easy. Yeah, maybe we can get one more in after no, this. Let's just go. Let's go. This uh, is it. I'm done with no, this. No, no, because we're going to try to get one more. <laughs> we got time. Let's, no, let's no. get through this. Uh, let's Bob go. Kelly, go. Right. You're right. Uh, Milky Way. Milky Way Galaxy. That is correct. What'd and that's also a candy bar. Yes, it is, Francine. Francine, what did you write? Well, I didn't guess it, but I thought... I just thought it was the universe. <laughs> the I, universe. I have to go. You're going to become a white girl soon. You are hysterical. She wrote the universe. She, she is gold. We need to kill her and take samples of her brain. I, what brain? Exactly. There's nothing there. We need to open that up she and see what questions on. Okay, now All what right. did you write? And Rich? Yeah, he wrote... Solar system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, 
I, look, Please. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm awesome. dumb. I would love to continue. Uh, do we have a score for the end of this before we wrap up our uh, day here? Yes, answering uh, five questions correctly, uh, considering his penalty, uh, is Bob Kelly with yeah. five. Uh, Voss got four questions correctly, mm -hmm. and Francine got two. Well, <laughs> Bob Kelly... Uh, wins. Yes, sir. Oh, are we done the, or are we going to... dumb off. Uh, we're, not, we're, we're done. We're not finished. We're done, dummy. Oh, no. We're done. <laughs> we're done. Is there a prize? Yeah. I want something. You're going to get a scholarship. <laughs> Francine technically is the dumbest, so she won the yeah, dumb Yeah, that's off. true. Hey, all right. She is dumb. <laughs> yeah, she's happy. <laughs> Mike DiStefano. Yeah. She couldn't be happier yeah. if a preemie just fell on the floor. Mike, <laughs> let me explain something to Mike. <laughs> a lingy lingy. It looks like uh, you didn't do much on our show today. Right, that is, but that is correct. Fun. But he let me tell you me. something. You're on our radar. That's all I want to tell you. Thanks, man. Very and uh, he's a very funny guy. He's going to be at Caroline's tonight and Sunday. And we'll have you come back in soon to do the real thing. Okay? Yeah, you got it. Thank it, you, it was just a weird day to have you in. We were trying to squeeze you in and maybe, uh, I don't know. No, I appreciate it. But this was hysterical, man. Cool. All right. Yeah. And we got uh, Rich Boss. Where are you going to be, Rich? At the Comedy Cove at Scotty's in Springfield, New Jersey. Friday, Saturday. Comedy Cove, Springfield, New Jersey. Francine's got a plug. I'm going to be at the Laugh Factory on Saturday. What does she do? What do you It's do? on Essex yeah. and Delancey somewhere. Come see me. Okay. She does stand up. I oh, thought you weren't doing stand up that. anymore. I came back. <laughs> you came never... back. <laughs> oh, really? Because uh, I lost my job. I have nothing to do anyway. All right. And Bobby? Uh, I'm going to be at the uh, Palms in Vegas on December 8th. So, uh, I don't know. You guys still on in Vegas? So, uh, thanks for mentioning it. Uh, <laughs> I think we're on in AM in the middle of the night or something. All right, well, come to the show. Just go to my MySpace. All right, what's your MySpace? we got to get out of here. Robert oh. Kelly Live. That's right. Okay, guys, have a, a great Thanksgiving, whatever. Yeah. I guess that's the proper thing to <laughs> say. And we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, our next live show will be on Monday, but we got some great uh, worst of stuff for the next couple of days uh, so you can catch up with the show with some classic Opie and Anthony bits, okay? Right. We're out. Night.